Welcome, everyone. We're so happy to have you with us on this beautiful day that the Lord has made. It's Father's Day, and we're excited to be with you. Let's give the Lord a hand. Oh, yes. What a wonderful day that it is as we honor all of our dads. Those of you in church, if you would please stand with us. Those of you watching on Facebook Live and YouTube Live, we just say welcome to everybody. And we know that many of our church family are on the other side of these cameras. i got to give them a virtual hug right now. Amen. Church, give me a little virtual hug right now. Amen. Listen, we're getting through these times together, aren't we? God is keeping us strong. God is helping us. And we're going to have a great time today. And let me just kind of share a couple of quick things that we're going to be doing. Now, we have a special cross that we have put together today for fathers. And we call it our Father's Day cross. And what we would like to do is to put the names of dads on this cross. It's right over here behind me. And it's a special design cross today. And if you'd like to honor your dad, maybe, and maybe he's in heaven. How many know if he's in heaven, he's still alive right now. Yes, he is. And if you want to honor your dad, just go to Faith City Family Church Facebook, send message, or YouTube, uh, the chat section, and give us the name of your dad. And at the close of the service, we're going to get in the process of putting dad's name on the cross. I know I want my dad's name on there today, all right? I'm going to make sure my dad's name is on there. I still have my dad, and if he was in heaven, I'd still have his name on there. And then the next thing is this. There is power in prayer. Can somebody say amen? There is a lot of power when we pray. And let's give the Lord a praise. I'll tell you, we're feeling it in church here, and I hope you're feeling it as well. Now. The Bible said, if just two on earth shall agree as touching anything, they will ask of the Father in heaven, and it shall be given for them of my Father, which is in heaven. What could God do for you today if you took that step of faith? I want to invite you to share your prayer requests with us. I'd love to get them in my hands. We want to pray live and in the moment and put other people agreeing in prayer. So just go to Faith City Family Church Facebook, the Sin Message section and we'll get that prayer request or the YouTube chat section. The prayer ministry team is right over here to my right ready to get your request, ready to get your dad's name to get his name on that cross because the Bible said honor your father and your mother. Let's stretch our hands out to one another and let's pray together. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus that where two or three are gathered together, where whether in person, God, whether uh, uh, somebody watching in their living room or wherever it is, their iPhone, their iPad, their laptop. God, you're in the midst of our gathering right now. And Father, in the name of Jesus, as we honor our dads today, we pray you would bring comfort to people, Lord, maybe who just lost their dad not too long ago. Or Lord, maybe they haven't talked to dad in a long time. God, we pray that you'll do some miracles in that department today. And Lord, we pray that people will exercise faith and say, you know what? I'm going to go on and I'm going to give them my prayer request. I'm going to Facebook. I'm going to YouTube and I'm going to get my request in. I'm going to get the name of that loved one that needs deliverance because I know when I put action on my faith, there will be a reaction from God. So Lord, we thank you for what is going to happen in the name of Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a praise right now. I feel the power of God getting ready to be released like never before in your life and in our lives. We're so happy to have back with us today Sister Crystal. She's going to lead us in worship. Let's give the Lord another loud praise together. Praise the Lord. Let's have a great time on Father's Day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. You ain't the blind man see. May the lame man walk again. You caused the dead to rise. And that's why we dance and lift the tea. And you're doing it all again. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Cause you're doing it all again. Whoa. 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 You made the blind man. 
can't see.
Everybody can say, I'm glad that Jesus promised to meet all of my needs. Can I get a wave offering? Can I get a praise God from somebody in the church and somebody watching right now that God is saying unto you, I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to meet all your needs in the next. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout praise the Lord if you believe it right now. Well, I'll tell you, we're going to pray for the needs in the church. We're going to pray for the requests that are coming in. If you want to get your prayer request prayed over, even if you're in the service, just pick up your iPhone and go to Faith City Family Church Facebook to the send message section or YouTube on the chat section. And we want to get that in our hands because we believe God for miracles. Help me, Brother Chris, if you would, please. I see some requests are coming in right now. Well, I want to take a little poll inside the sanctuary. How many in the last year could raise up your hand and say, God gave you a miracle? Can I see a hand go up? There's a hand. There's a hand. There's one. There's one. There's a couple of hands. I see hands all over the church saying, you know what? The days of miracles are still now. God does miracles right now. Oh, give him a shout. Praise the Lord. Now, I see Brother Harmon, our outreach director. He's got some requests in his hand. And again, I encourage you. We want to pray with you. We want to trust God with you. 
to believe for miracles. Maybe there's somebody in your family that is not saved, somebody that doesn't know the Lord. Well, I'm here to tell you that God is able. Thank you, Brother Harmon. It says, Sandra says, pray for job security and favor. It says, pray for Pastor Hare. I appreciate that. It says, pray for justice, amen, peace, and understanding in this world. Uh, this says, uh, I need prayer for two people that are facing cancer at this time and their families to have peace and strength through this difficult time. Amen. Please pray for a smooth move into our new home. Congratulations to Faith. God bless you for moving into that new home. Amen. This says, I need prayer for Anthony as uh, he lost his precious loved one in March. Please, his precious diamond in March, please keep him lifted up today in prayer. Oh, God love him. He's hurting. And if you're hurting today, get that prayer request in. Jesus is a heart fixer. Can I hear a praise God? He's a, he's a heart mender. Yes, he is. Please pray for my sons, Aaron, Corey, and Marcus. Pray for my business. Uh, uh, and that business name is Tri-State Got It. That's up on Naaman's Road. I encourage you to go there. Brother Richard is a member of Faith City. They've got great gospel CDs and music at Tri-State Got It in Claymont. And praise God. Richard, I'm believing that business is going to double in the name of Jesus. Uh, this says, please pray for my nieces and nephews as they mourn the loss of their dad. Oh, my goodness. Just lost dad. The Henry family. Yes, we will. This says here, uh, please, God, please help protect and provide and strengthen Pastor Hare. This, oh, thank you, Ellie. I appreciate that. I'm getting a few little prayer shout outs. I can use them. God knows it. Thank you, Brother Harmon. Please pray for my brother, Emmanuel. He is in Boston. The doctor said they have done all they can for him. He has cancer. But Ike said he knows there's a great physician whose name is Jesus. Can I hear a praise God? He's not going to give in to what the doctor said. And God bless the doctor. This says, pray that my uh, house passes inspection this week. Amen. Please pray for the Abram family and also the Story family. This says, pray for my stepdaughter. She has a drinking problem and is in a relationship that is abusive. And then it says, Kalia says, let my stepdaughter know there is a God. Amen. Somebody shout amen in here. Here's another one. Thank you, Brother Harmon. Please pray that our plans will come to fruition and for our strength in Christ. John, you can get your request in. Listen, if we don't get it to pray over it in the middle of the service, we always pray at the end. So you can go to Faith City Family Church Facebook, the, U, the, the Ascent Message section, or the YouTube chat section. And let me get these very quickly. Uh, Sandra says, pray for my sister Sylvia. And uh, uh, Valerie says, pray for my family. And Valerie is in the Philadelphia area. Uh, this says, pray for Pastor Hare. Here's another one. I thank you so much as he preaches and blesses us with the Word of God. Thank you. Please pray that I complete my, uh, my uh, some type of course in a timely fashion for my master's degree. Amen. God bless you, Dorothy. And then thank you for your prayers. My daughter made it safe to recovery on Monday, thank you for your prayers. How about a shout for a praise report right now? Another praise report. Thank you, Brother Harmon. Last year, you got to listen to this now. I want to put out a shout alert, all right? Get ready. Last year, I was paralyzed, but Jesus healed me, and I can now walk. Well, how about a loud praise? Come on, you can do a little bit better than that. 
Those of you in your living room, praise God with me right now. Praise God with us right now. Praise God. I can walk. And Eddie said, I ask for prayer for John and Sophie uh, and that they will have a miraculous outcome. And it says, I want to pray for Ashley who has pneumonia. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, amen. And then the final one here, please pray uh, for my big brother, Ricky, my son, Scotty, and the Benjamin family and peace at my workplace that it will be stress-free. Continue to get those requests in. Faith City Family Church Facebook, send message, YouTube chat section. Brother Harmon's got the oil, and we're going to get ready not only to pray for the requests that have come in. I have people who are watching Brother Harmon, and they say, what's that beautiful box up there? Let me tell you what it is. Those of you at church know what it is. But those of you watching, you can ask all the time, what is the prayer box? It's a box that's full of over 1,000 prayer requests. See, when your prayer requests come in, we really pray over them. And when we pray, listen to this, we don't throw them away. We put them in the prayer box. Because how many believe the prayer wheel needs to keep on turning and turning and turning? Hallelujah. I want everybody in the sanctuary to stretch your hands out to Brother Harmon and I and all the requests and all the requests in the prayer box. Let's lift our voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over every single request that has come in over the last few moments. And God, we pray for healing. We pray for protection. We pray for deliverance. We pray for provision. We pray, oh God, that doors will open. We pray that people will get the degree they're believing for, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for household salvation. We pray that loved ones will get delivered from alcohol and drugs and the young lady in the abusive relationship. Oh, God, deliver her and set her free in Jesus' mighty name. And, Lord, we pray for every request in the prayer ministry request box. God, we continue to pray for healing and deliverance and for jobs, oh God, and for doors to open in Jesus' name, and for children to get saved, and for houses to get saved, households, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and we'll thank you for it. And I want everybody in church to stretch your hands out towards me right now. And those watching, stretch your hands out. The Bible said if just two shall agree, I feel led to call out Brother Robert Cuff's name. I don't know his name, just came to my mind. And I pray, Brother Robert, you're probably watching on YouTube. I pray Jesus heal you right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus and be right back in the church. I decree it over you right now. I pray over everybody in the sanctuary, those that are watching, that the Lord will heal you. He will deliver you. He will set you free. I pray for the prayer ministry team. I pray for the ushers. I pray for everybody on the platform that God will move by his power in in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you for it right now in Jesus' name. Can somebody give the Lord a shout? I feel the power of the Holy Ghost moving in this place. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, something just came to my mind, and I'm going to say it. Here it is. All of us are just one heart be away from eternity. Can I say it again? One heartbeat away from eternity. When that heart beats its last beat and the doctor cannot resuscitate you, you're going to eternity. Somebody said, well, where do I go? Do I float around on a cloud? No, the Bible said for those that are saved to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord but there's only one way you can get there and that's Jesus there could be somebody in the church service right now you need to make Jesus the Lord of your life there could be somebody watching you need to make Jesus the Lord of your life it's not hard you don't have to join anything you don't have to change your clothes you don't have to well, you don't really have to do anything but call on the Lord first, and then he'll save you. 
Somebody said, I need to do that. Is there anybody in the sanctuary needs to make sure you're ready for heaven? Raise your hand right now. If there's anybody watching, you raise your hand just like you were here because really you are. You're just virtually at church right now worshiping with. Is there one? Well, we're going to get ready to pray the prayer of salvation because the Bible says there were three crosses. You remember when Jesus was crucified? You remember up on Golgotha's hill, there were three crosses, a thief on either side. Jesus turned to the one thief to give him a chance because he was going to hell. He was on his way to hell, and the thief mocked him. Listen, if you have a chance to get saved, you better take that chance. Jesus turned to the other thief, and the thief said, Jesus, would you remember me? He said, today, right now, you're going to be with me in paradise. Jesus is a right now Jesus. Right now, Jesus will save you. I walk over to this cross that's prepared to put Father's names on it. We want to honor Dad today by putting his name on the cross. But right now, we're using this cross as our prayer focus. I want everybody in the church to stretch your hands out to the cross right now. I'd like to ask everybody watching to stretch your hands out to the cross right now. And I want you to pray this prayer with me. Everybody say it loud. Come on. Don't, don't, you don't have anything to be afraid of. Say, Jesus, like the thief on the cross, I need you. I ask you to remember me to come into my life and to save my soul and to wash my sin away. Right now, Jesus, I receive you as my Savior. Thank you, Lord. I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Praise you for, can we give the Lord a praise right now? God, we thank you, Lord, for those that prayed that prayer. Now, if you prayed that prayer in church or watching right now, it would be our honor to send to you a cross necklace. Just let us know you would like it sent in the mail to you to remind you that the Lord is your Savior. He will never leave you. Just email the church at faithcityoffice at gmail.com. That's faithcityoffice at gmail.com. Also, if you want to get your dad's name on the cross. And team, prayer team, my daddy's name. My dad's name is Bert Hare, B-E-R-T. Sister Davis, write that down for my daddy. B-E-R-T, last name, H-A-R-E. I want to make sure my daddy's name is on the cross. You might say, well, I'm going to put my dad's name on the cross. I want to honor my dad. Then I want you to go to Faith City Family Church Facebook, send message, give us daddy's name. Go to YouTube chat section, give us daddy's name. Our team is watching right now. You'll never go wrong by honoring your father. Listen, maybe you didn't have a close relationship with your dad, but you can still honor your father today, and the Lord will bless you. And then I got to do one more thing. We're giving away beautiful Father's Day gifts to those dads that are present at the church service and those that are watching that cannot go to church. Let us send to you by mail your Father's Day gift. I'm going to bring it up on the screen. It's a beautiful gift. It's a scripture card, and it has a tire gauge check. That's right. Dad, you can check the air pressure in your tire. We did something a little bit different this year, and it's absolutely free. All you, now, I want to say this. I sense somebody church is watching right now, and they're hurting. Their dad lives on the West Coast. They're up here on the East Coast. Dad lives out in Chicago somewhere. Tell you what we're going to do. If you will give us the address of your daddy, we will send to him. I don't care where he lives. We will send him a Father's Day gift to honor your dad. 
So get his name and address, email it to us, faithcityoffice at gmail.com, because if there ever was a time we need to honor our dads with the world in the shape that it's in, we need to honor our dads. Say amen, somebody in church and those that are watching. Oh, Lord, we thank you. So, Father, we praise you for the miracles that have happened. And, Lord, we thank you for the testimonies we're going to receive, for the souls that God saved. And all God's people said, amen and amen. Those in church, you may be seated, and God bless you. For those that were able to attend the service today, once again, those that are watching, church family by faith, City Family Church, Facebook, YouTube, live, we're all in this together. We come to that time of the service where we get the opportunity to show God our thanks for bringing us this far by faith and to help continue to share the gospel message. You know, we're living in a day where people are more open to, to the gospel than they've ever been. And we've, uh, we've been an outreach church for so long. We've been out on the streets running buses, doing neighborhood outreaches, crosses on corners. And we've been out even in the pandemic. Yes, with masks and gloves. Yes, using wisdom. Whether it's delivering food or sharing the message of the cross or praying with communities for three things. And we need to keep praying for these three things in our nation. Number one, we need justice in this country. Secondly, we need peace. And thirdly, we need unity. Pastor, in that order, yeah, I'll say it again. Justice first. How can you have peace when there is no justice? Then we need peace. And we need to come together and find a better way and a better day. And so I was recently contacted by a pastor in Philadelphia who said, would you help us do a prayer march outreach from Broad Street up to City Hall? When I was on the phone listening to him, he was all excited about it. I, something leaped in my, in my heart. And I said, Pastor, we sure will. And you might say, Pastor, why are you so quick to help other churches and other ministries? How many believe that churches ought to work together? Ministries ought to work together. Not fight one another, but we need to work together, especially in the times that we're in. I said, we sure will. And so I want to take you in just a quick second. I want to take you out on the streets with us. I want to show you a little bit of what happened as we were out there, the outreach ministry teams, as we were taking the love of Jesus to the streets. As a matter of fact, why don't we take a look at that right now. Let's go out to Broad Street in Philadelphia. The significance of this day, it represents the body of Christ rising up in the clarity. Because we need a voice in the land. There are so many voices that's in the land. Now the sound that the voice of the church, the body of Christ, be heard. What a blessing to be able to take the cross right there in the middle of City Hall. To let everybody know it was the cross, at the cross, where we first saw the light. So we wanted to show and remind them. It was a cross that God showed his love. A lot of us are not doing outreach like we used to do. I'm so glad for Faith City, uh, how they are uh, operating in that uh, outreach. Uh, who stood with us today, to side by side, and that's what it's all about. And that's why we came out, went to City Hall to let everybody know. Y'all need the church, just like the church need the city. And we are on the front line to declare healing in our city. I want to take this time to thank Reach Gospel, Pastor Hare, and your team for coming. Thank all of you that have prayed with us all weekend long. 
thank you for what God has done for us down at City Hall. Know that whatever God has promised, he will make it good. I declare and decree healing is in our cities and your city. Healing is in your state. Healing is in your community. God bless you. We love you. May heaven smile upon you. Hallelujah. Let's give God a praise. I'll tell you, huh? just looking at that footage, right? And look at that cross in front of City Hall. Somebody said, what's the answer? The answer is still as Andre Crouch wrote in that song a long time ago. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there is no other. Jesus, he is the way. And that Pastor Hatcher, God bless him. God bless all the team from Faith City. How many believe it was good that Faith City could unite with Holy Ghost headquarters on Broad Street? Amen. Church members uniting together under the same banner of Jesus Christ. Well, I'll tell you, we're getting ready. This afternoon, I'll be meeting with Brother Harmon, our outreach director. And we're getting ready to plan at least five major outreaches in areas that people want us to come in there where they need. They need love. They need salvation. They need help. And I'll tell you what we're working on in our cross ministry outreach. We're working to partner with organizations. So when the cross outreach concludes and people get saved and get prayed for, we're going to partner with health organization, housing organizations, education organizations, and help people lift their lives up to a new level. Because how many know once you get saved, you need to have a job. You need to have a place to live. Come on, say amen. And you need to know things about how to take care of your health and yourself. And I believe that we're just on the cutting edge of what God is about to do this summer. Why did I show you this? For two reasons. I wanted to give you encouragement and I wanted to give you hope. Because I believe if we'll stay out there, things will eventually turn around and they will change. I also showed it to you today because we need your support. We're a church that has walls, but somebody the other Sunday said, but pastor, this is a church without walls as well because we go out to the people. And I want to share the verse on tithing and giving. We're praying today that everyone present at the church service, as well as everybody watching, will say, Pastor, I like what I'm seeing, and uh, I'm paying my tithes, and I'm giving my outreach offerings. It says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now, he which says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Amen. Three blessings when you give God 10% of the money that he helped you make. He said, I'll pour you out a blessing. I'm going to give you a blessing. Secondly, he said, I'm going to give you increase. And thirdly, I'll rebuke the devourer. I'm going to give you protection. Proverbs chapter 3, verse number 9, another powerful verse says, honor the Lord with your substance. That's talking about your finances. That means when you give your tithes and offerings, you are honoring our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And with the first fruits of all thine increase, first fruits means, yes, the tithe. And then 1 Corinthians 15, 58, many times this verse kept me going when I was fighting discouragement. Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor, your march up Broad Street praying is not in vain. Your cross on the corner is not in vain. So be steadfast and be unmovable. I'm asking everybody under the sound of my voice today, would you help us? Would you give your tithes today? And today, we need some more difference makers. I believe that yesterday, 
was the first day of summer. If I'm wrong, somebody can correct me, but I think summer just started. And if we wanted on the first day of summer to declare our theme for the summer. And our theme for 2020 is the summer of salvation, SOS. We are going to have a summer of salvation. Can somebody say amen? A summer of saving souls. We need some difference makers in addition to tithers. You might say, what's a difference maker? A difference maker gives a special outreach offering of $100. Now, Brother Harmon, you were talking to me. or there, there you are on that side of the church. Talking to me yesterday saying that the sound system on our outreach van has finally about died. Three of the four big speakers have finally worn out. We have worn it out. We've had it for years. We, because we go out in all seasons preaching and doing the cross ministry. And we need a new sound system for the outreach van. So we can go in and pick up the cordless mic. Preach right on the corner like I'm preaching. Play gospel music. We can literally take that corner for Christ. Could we get some difference makers today? to help us on that special project. We made it easy for you to give, whether here in church. Now, in the service, if you need an envelope, if you didn't get an envelope, just slip up your hand. Our ushers will bring you one immediately if you did not get one on the way in. If there, I see two hands over here, ushers, I see another hand. Please leave your hand up in the air here in the church sanctuary if you did not get an envelope, and our ushers will make sure but we made it easy to give. Let me give you these convenient giving options. First of all, you can text to give. Simple little number there. You, you call. It takes you to a link. Doesn't take long at all. At 302-455-2820, the cash app. Many people use that as well. The dollar sign, the Faith City FC2, lower, uppercase, doesn't matter. But you must add the dollar sign and then faithcitythou.com another easy way to give only takes a handful of minutes to do it and we need your help especially in these times that we're in and then you can also mail your support our address you can send it right to the front door of the church 179 Stanton Christiana Road Newark Delaware 19702 also, some of our older members and members of the church have said, I can't get out yet. The doctor said, I can't get out yet. Can my church send to me by mail tithe envelopes? Pastor, if you'll send me some tithe envelopes, I'll mail in my tithe to the church. We'll be happy to do that. You just email us at faithcityoffice at gmail.com. I'm going to pray. And then I'm praying that everybody under the sound of my voice will pay their tithes, will give your most generous offerings, and we need at least 19 difference makers. Wouldn't it be great if we in the next two weeks could get that brand new outreach sound system? Wouldn't that be great? We could take it to the, we've got a place right here locally that does it. It'll take them about three days to install it. And man, we'll be able to bump the name of Jesus all over the neighborhood and get people saved. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we're praying that people will say, you know what, I, I felt what you said, Pastor. I see where you're looking, brother. And I know that we got to do what we need to do inside the church, but we also got to stay outside. If there ever was a day the church better get out on the streets, it's right now. And Lord, I'm praying that people will say, I'm giving my tithes. I got no problem with it. I want to honor Jesus. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my best outreach offering. And God, give us at least 19 difference makers that would say, you know what? I think I could do that. I think I can sow that $100 offering because I want to be a part of saving souls in the name of Jesus. And God, I know you're going to give it back to us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Amen and amen. I'll be back in just a moment. I'm asking Brother Dana Saray, our music ministry, to provide us with a special selection. Thank you. Thank you, everyone in church today. Thank you. And God bless you.
once again we say thanks to everyone present today and those watching us on Facebook and YouTube. Now I want to remind you if you just joined us, it's not too late to get in your prayer requests. We'll be praying at the close of the service. Faith City Family Church Facebook send message or YouTube chat section. And our prayer ministry team have done such a wonderful job. I appreciate them so much. We'll be looking not only for your prayer request, but if you would like to get, let me look over at this cross again. If you would like to get your dad's name on the special Father's Day cross to honor your father, whether he's still present or on the other side in glory waiting on you, we would be honored. Just go to Faith City Family Church Facebook, send message to the YouTube chat section. Give us dad's name. I know my dad's name is going on there today. And let's, let's honor our dads also i want to remind everybody one more time of that free father's day gift we'll send the father's day gift to your house we'll send it to dad who lives in another state maybe dad's in a nursing home we'll send him that gift just email us at faithcityoffice at gmail Dot com. Next Sunday, we're honoring more graduates. If you would like to get your name on the wall of honor and your picture and your name and the name of your school all over Facebook and YouTube and here at the church, email us your name, the picture of yourself, and the name of your school to faithcityoffice at gmail.com. Remember, the church is open. Services 9, 11, and 7. Our doors are now open again. As you feel you're able to come, we are honored to have you with us. I just want to say a, a special thanks to our music ministry. They have pressed on through COVID. They have pressed on. And, and I appreciate Can we get Brother Dana Saray, our music director here of Faith City? We love him so much. He's such a brother. And we appreciate uh, all our work, Crystal and and then uh, there's Angie, and there's Monet, and there's Brother Josh White, the new dad, Josh White again, amen. The White family, praise the Lord. And that just added on, a member to the church, thank God. And uh, Brother Duder Vernell Mincy on the drums. Just before the message, our special Father's Day message, Brother Dane and the team are going to do a special selection in honor of fathers. God bless you. Good morning, everybody. Brothers, how you feeling, brothers? Can we get the brothers to raise their hands for one second? <laughs> so I want to say happy Father. If you are a father, I want to say happy Father's Day to you. There's always a myth that says that, you know, the mothers have it up on the fathers. I've always heard that. And as you all know, I always talk about my dad. Me and my dad just start building our, our, relation, our relationship. And we really have a good one now, but of course it was a little rocky in the beginning. So, but I've always taught myself to always forgive and to love as much as I possibly can uh, my dad. And I always took the bad energy and made it the best that I could of it. So I always treat, I always walk like I want to prove to the world that I'm a good dad. You know what I mean? And it keeps, it keeps me in good energy to make sure that I stay on point and I have I leave here with a good record. So how many fathers want to leave with a good record? We want to do the best we possibly can, right? The Bible says we are made in the image of God. And I want to sing this song to show you that we don't have to be perfect, but what we do have to do is try our best to be there for our children, to be there for the mothers and help them out, right? It's a beautiful song. Just listen to the words and try to connect it to yourselves. You don't have to be perfect, but we, God does want us to do our best. Just sing the first verse. Oh, I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like, but I've heard the tender whispers of love. Dead of night and they tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's 
Yes, who you are, I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. about a conversation. It is the children speaking to their father and all that God wants from us fathers is to be present protect and to love our children. So if you see yourselves in that father that's all God wants to do. Protect, be present and love. That's all we want us to do. Josh. Oh love so undeniable I Yes Lord. Hardly speak a peace so unexplainable I can hardly think as you call deeper still as you call deeper still as you call like I said, God just wants us to try our best and do our best and love, be there for our families, protect our families, and be present. Is that all right, fathers? Happy Father's Day to you guys. Thank you, Brother Dane and Music Ministry. Let's give the Lord a praise for that wonderful, wonderful song. So, 
so wonderful. Just before we begin our message today, I do want to remind everyone once again, because Father's Day only comes once a year, and names are coming in even, I believe while I'm standing here, Father's names are coming in at the close of the service. I'm going to read out loud, one at a time, the names of dads we're going to put on the cross. So it's not too late to do that. Simply go to Faith City Family Church Facebook, send message, YouTube, the chat section, honor your dad today. And also, I'll add it one more time, we will send a Father's Day gift to any dad. Maybe he's in the hospital. Maybe he's in a convalescent home. Maybe he's just a long way from you. We'd be happy to do it. Just email us, faithcityoffice at gmail.com, faithcityoffice at gmail.com. And at the close of the service, those that are present here today, we have, and Brother Harmon and our team and our usher team will make sure that on this beautiful table here to my right and to your left that all dads get our special Father's Day gift. Our message is entitled, Never Stop Elevating Your Life. Never Stop Elevating Your Life. Everybody under the sound of my voice, you're at a certain level, but God wants to take you higher. God wants to take me higher. God wants to take every, I'm going to say it again, everybody that can hear my voice, God wants to take you higher. I saw something, a, a sign on the way to, uh, to church today, and on that sign it said, the road to success is always under construction. Can I say that again? The road to success is always under construction. That means that we're always on a journey. And I want to share with you today five power principles on how you can never stop elevating your life. And if you will do these five power principles, I believe it's going to affect your relationships, your finances, going to affect your business, going to affect what you do with your life. It's going to take you higher. How many would raise your hand and say, God's going to take you higher? You're going to confirm, affirm that right now. God is going to take you higher. I want everybody to repeat this after me and say, God is going to take me higher. Amen. Well, I want to go right to principle number one about never stop elevating your life. First of all, elevate your expectations to an unlimited God. Elevate your expectations to an unlimited God. God has no ceiling. There are no limits with God. Whatever you need God to do, not only can God do it, but God can do even greater than you ask. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse number 9. It says these words, but it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Do you love God? If you do, shout amen. amen. Well, if you love him, God has more in store for you. And listen, not only for you, but also for your children, and yes, even your children's children. Jeremiah 29, 11. Why do we need to elevate our expectations because God has nothing but good for us in store. He said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, say of the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. God says, I've got good plans for you. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Somebody is dreaming right now. I've got some dreamers watching. I've got some dreamers in the congregation. And you're never too old to dream. Say amen, somebody. Never too old to have a vision. Ephesians 3.20 says these words. It says, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works within us. Listen, if God has no limits, then why would you put a limit on yourself? Why not decide to go higher? I want everybody to shout after me, say it loud. Say, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to go higher. Oh, Chris, I want to hear that audience again. Everybody say, in the name of Jesus, I want to go higher. I am going higher, and nothing's going to hold me down. Shout amen, somebody. Oh, I feel that right now, talking about never stop elevating your life. Principle number one, elevate your expectations to an unlimited God. Principle number two, you are a creative person. Somebody said, how do you know that? I'm affirming it by faith. 
Everybody has talent. Everybody has ability. Everybody has gifts that God has given unto them. So you are a creative person, so elevate your gifts and your talents. It is not only up to God to bless us, but it is up to us to take initiatives to say, I'm going to improve myself. I'm going to improve my gifts. I'm going to improve my abilities. I'm going to hone my skills. Maybe that means going to a, a, an extra class online. Maybe it means going back to college for another semester. Maybe it means taking up a new program that you need to get involved with your life. But I'm here to tell you, if you will make a move, God will make a move. And I, Psalm 139, verse number 14, it says these powerful words. David writes, I will praise you. Now, why is he praising God? He says, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Could I get everybody to say that after me? Say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. He goes on to write, marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows this very well. When God made you, he made something awesome. When God made you, he made something special. When God made you, those of you not only in church but watching me right now, God made something amazing. And maybe, listen, people have called you all kinds of names. You're not what man says you are. You are what God says you are. Maybe you've been abused. You've been talked down to. But I'm telling you, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And you can do everything God says you can do. You can go everywhere God says you can go. You can be everything God says you can be. In the name of Jesus, can somebody shout amen? I'm preaching, never stop elevating your life. Principle number one, elevate your expectations to an unlimited God. Principle number two, you are a creative person, so elevate your gifts and talents. Principle number three, and this is so true, especially today. Your community needs you. It does. Your community needs you. So elevate your efforts in making other people's lives better. Somebody said, well, now, wait a minute. What about my needs? I need this and I need that. I've learned a long time ago. When you're going through a valley, help somebody else. Matter of fact, I learned it's just good psychologically when you can get your mind off your problems for a while and go out and help someone else and get involved in their pain. It can help keep your mind right. And the Bible says that if you'll go help somebody, a blessing is coming right down the highway your way. Can I read you this verse? It makes me want to shout when I read it. Isaiah chapter 58, verse number 10. And the verse reads, And if thou draw out thy soul, you take some time, to feed the hungry or the needy and satisfy the afflicted soul to go help somebody else. Here's what's going to happen to you. Then shall thy light rise in obscurity and thy darkness shall be as the noonday. God said, I'm looking for somebody to bless. But I want to bless somebody who's willing to bless somebody else. Can I say it again? God said, I am looking for somebody to bless. How many could raise your hand here and watching right now and say, I know I've been blessed when I bless somebody else. When God tells me to give somebody a 20, God tells me to buy somebody something to eat, God tells me to go help that dear soul that's been down and out. Listen, I have lived long enough to learn this, that you cannot outgive God. When you help somebody, God is going to lift you and elevate your life. Somebody give a shout right now. I feel the Lord on this. I believe somebody here right at the church right now, I believe somebody watching God is telling you, you need to go out and help somebody. Somebody in your neighborhood, somebody where you work, needs you, help them, and God will elevate your life. Principle number four of five, you have influence, whether good 
or bad, elevate the good. Somebody said, I don't appreciate you telling me that, that there's some bad to, to, to my life. We all have bad, negative points. Don't come in here. Don't watch me and say, well, I've never made a mistake. I'm perfect. Well, you just messed up. You told a lie. Say amen now. There's no perfect people. If you're looking for a perfect church, you'll never find it because it's got people in it. And people make mistakes. People fall down. But the key is we learn how to get back up. Now let me go on the other side. We all have negatives about our lives. But how about this? We all have good sides to our lives, do we not? Thank God there are good sides to our lives. And what we need to do is elevate the good. Elevate it. And Jesus said to do that in Matthew chapter 5, verse number 16, when Jesus said these words. He was preaching to his disciples, and Jesus is preaching to us, his disciples, today. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Everybody say good works. Now, don't, 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 don't write me, don't Facebook me, don't YouTube me, don't, don't message me and say, well, now, wait a minute, you can't get to heaven by your good works. You cannot, exactly. But the Bible said you are saved for good works. You are not saved by your works. You are saved to go do something good. And when you do something good, don't showboat. Don't get the big head. And when they say, well, who is it? Don't say, well, look at me. Say, look at the God in me. Let your light so shine. You have influence, whether good or bad, so elevate the good. For those of you taking notes from the top, never stop elevating your life. Number one, elevate your expectations to an unlimited God. Number two, you are a creative person, so elevate your gifts and talents. Number three, your community needs you, so elevate your efforts in making others, other people's lives better. Number four, you have influence, whether good or bad, so elevate the good. And finally, number five, as our musicians are beginning to make their way, principle number five, elevate your reach. By connecting yourself to efforts that reach out to others. I might sound a little prejudiced, but friend, if I'm going to go to church, I want to go to church that not only helps people that come inside, but how many believe we need to be helping people outside the walls of the church? How many believe we need to be going to people other people don't want? And I believe, listen, a church, when it opens up its doors, should not be operating where if you don't dress a certain way, you're not welcome here. If you don't look like this and you can't come, Jesus said, whosoever will may come. Jesus doesn't care what you look like, what you're dressed like. He doesn't care what, uh, what color your skin is. He doesn't care what neighborhood you live in. Jesus loves us all the same. He doesn't love somebody else more than he loves somebody else. Jesus loves everybody the same. And I'll praise God when this country will wake up and wake up to the fact that Jesus said, man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Quit judging me by the way I look and look at my heart. Say amen, somebody. Elevate your reach by connecting yourself to efforts that reach out to others. Jesus said, don't just think about yourself. But he said in Luke 14 and 23, he said unto the servant, go out. Can somebody shout, go out? go out? Go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Somebody's got to go out and do the compelling. Somebody's got to go out and do the sharing. And maybe you physically can't do that. Don't you feel bad about that? Maybe you cannot go out on the march with us or on the corners with us. But what you can do, you can give a donation to help us do it. You can pray for us. Come on, say amen. Somebody can do something to help us with the cause of reaching those that need Jesus. Proverbs 11, verse 30. He that winneth souls is wise. 
I want to pray for everyone in church. I want to pray for those that are watching that God will help you to elevate your life. And in a moment, I'm going to ask Brother Harmon to share with me the names thus far that have come in of dads that we are going to lovingly and in honor place on the Father's Day cross as we honor our dads today. Thank you, Brother Harmon. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody praise the Lord right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I feel your power. Lord, I, I pray over everybody in this service who attended the church today and those that have attended by Facebook and by YouTube. I pray that the Lord will touch you in such a special way and that your life will be elevated in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your gifts and talents will rise up and that God would use you in a mighty way. In the name of Jesus, God, we give you praise for it right now in Jesus name somebody watching saying my daddy he's in the nursing home I can't get to him because he lives in a state where the COVID laws are really tight email me daddy's address I'll send him this Father's Day gift no daddy ought to feel like he is uncared for on Father's Day Email us at faithcityoffice at gmail.com and I'll make sure daddy gets a gift in the mail. And I want to begin in a moment to read, Lord have mercy. Sisters, that's a lot of names that came in. Whew. I will begin to read. And I believe there's a team, Brother Harm, that will be putting these names lovingly on the cross if you would even like to allow them to come at this time to begin the process, I'm going to read out Daddy's name. Derry Williams, Percy Ray, Brandon Davis, Tommy Davis, Cameron Davis, Robert Henry. Derek Davis, Linnell Basie Chavis, Lee Pat, Eddie Lang, Keith Coutino, Charles Cannon, Albert J Jones, Albert Jones, Jamil Diggins, Thomas Davis, Rest in peace. Pastor Hare, thank you. I'm a proud father of my son, Stephen Jonathan Hare. Terry Hackett. Corey Willis. Daniel Miller. Robert Cuff. Bert Hare, my daddy. Johnny Davis. Carrie Sims. Donald Thorpe, Robert du Duhamel, Isaac Thorpe, James Collier, Mike Richman, Chaz Cruz, Anthony Surreal, Joe Richman, Leon Hayward, Antoine Wilmer, Sylvester Tom Cruz. Malcolm Robinson, Leon Hayward Jr., Alan Cruz, Lawrence Cruz, Joe Coleman, Tim Bannister, all fathers at Faith City Family Church. Amen. George Harrell or George Harrell. Charles Bennett, Kirk Killerman, Steve Wilson, Reginald Smith, Gregory Gamble, Jr. No, Gregory Gamble, Greg Gamble, Jr. Chuck Purnell, 
Corey Purnell, Alan Perrine, Houston Perrine, Dennis Cataud, Kevin Maurice Carter, Elroy McLean, and Elroy McLean, and Sorrento Martin. Can we give these fathers a, a big hand right now? Praise the Lord. And it looks like that our sisters have a lot of work to do, but every name shall be placed on the cross as promised. And now Brother Harmon is bringing in our closing moment and benediction. Could I ask the congregation to please stand at this time, if you would. Thank you so very much. And at the conclusion of this prayer and benediction, Fathers, I'm going to ask Brother Brad, our usher, if he would be willing to have one of our ushers, if not himself, stand by the basket. And that's where every father who's at this service present can receive your Father's Day gift. Would you stretch your hands out towards me now? Those in church and those watching, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, oh, my God, so many more requests. Father, we pray over every one of them right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we pray for the healings that are needed. God, what a, st a stack of requests. God, for the hearts that are broken. God, for the money that's needed to pay the bills. For the employment that's so desperately needed. For the children that need to get saved, oh God. Lord, for the uh, reconciliation that's needed in the family. Oh God, we pray over every request. And we get out the anointing oil, oh God, right now. And we anoint with oil in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. God, we claim miracle blessings right now in the name of Jesus. And by faith we call it done. And now for the benediction. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his peace. In the name of God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the comfort of the Holy Ghost, amen and amen. Can we give the Lord a praise right now? Happy Father's Day. Amen and amen. Fathers, come up that are present, and Brother Brad will make sure you get your gift. I want to remind those in my closing words that are watching, our next service is at 11. Continue to get in your daddy's names for the Father's Day Cross, Faith City Family Church, Facebook, send message, YouTube, chat section. God bless you. We love you.